Good day, folks. Everything new under the sun. I like to look at things that give us an indication of where we are on the timeline of the return of the Lord. And one other thing um, that uh, came to mind as uh, I was uh, sitting, listening, and learning from the Sunday sermon is uh, the population growth of the world. Now, of course, prior to uh, the flood of Noah, there were people on the earth, and uh, you can sh you can see this chart. Uh, about 4,500 years ago, uh, Noah's flood occurred, and it wiped out every uh, living being uh, uh, who, that breathed air, except for the eight survivors, Noah's family. Now, before that, there was uh, many, many people, uh, even some speculate that there were upwards of, you know, seven, eight billion people, maybe similar to the number uh, of people today. Now, this is an outdated image. You see it goes up to six billion in the year 2000. Uh, we're hovering around, I think it's eight billion. Um, uh, but there could be, uh, there could have been that many prior to the flood. Now, We've had about 4,500 years to go from the eight survivors uh, in Noah's Ark up to um, the number that we're at now in the billions. Um, and prior to that, though, from Adam to uh, Noah's flood, it was about 1,500 years. So how could they get to uh, 8 billion people the same as we are now? Well, the population uh, doubles about every 115 years conservatively speaking. Every 150 years, um, you know, your population uh, around the world uh, uh, doubles. So, um, uh, you know, year one, you have 10 people. After 150 years, you have 20 people, right? And, and so it goes like that. Now, it seems slow, but it only requires about 30 doublings. Um, if you talk about uh, from Noah's flood up till today, to get to the current population that we're at, 30 doubling, you usually double the population 30 times. And we know that the earth um, did not uh, give of its strength after uh, the flood and even after um, uh, Adam and Eve were kicked out of the Garden of Eden. But likely more so, again, after the flood because the water canopy was there, the compressed air, the oxygen levels were decreased. Um, there's a lot of things. Uh, which were going against humans, if you will, at that time. And prior to the flood, to the flood, uh, lifespans were significantly longer. So there's a number of advantages uh, that allowed them in the only 1,500 years uh, before the flood of Noah to really get to um, uh, a place where that was possible. So we have this uh, this chart here. We have year zero, and that's creation. About uh, f uh, four thousand years uh, before Christ, right? And uh, Christ, of course, was about 2,000 years ago, 2,000 years. Uh, and that's why the year is uh, 2024, because the Gregorian starts from, um, you know, the birth of Jesus. Now, that the Gregorian didn't start on the actual birth of Jesus. Um, most scholars believe that Jesus was born a couple of years before the, the Gregorian actually started. So there's a couple of years of error there. Nonetheless, uh, we're at about the year 6,000, in or around uh, the year 6,000. And that's what this, uh, this chart is attempting to illustrate. What I want to bring to your attention is uh, that uh, prior to the flood, lifespans were very, very uh, long. And let's take a look at, I go over here, I flip screens here. Let's go to this. This is an image. And I don't know if I can get that any uh, larger. Uh, I may not be able to increase size. Zoom in. Zoom in. There we go. So you see here, you see the line in the center. It says the flood. Now, before the flood, people were living 800 years, 900 years old. Um, and... Uh, uh, very, very old, obviously. Methuselah was the longest, I think, 969. Um, and so they were living long lifespans before the flood. And then as soon as the flood happened, the ages and the lifespans decreased rapidly to where we're at now, you know, 70, 80, 100 years. And then that's where it's been for um, modern history, if you will, from the time of Christ, about, about that long, right? So obviously life is harsher. Uh, more people are dying. People aren't living as long. So you'd expect the population growth to grow more slowly as more people were dying. And if you're only living 70, 80 years, you're probably not having as many children. Before the flood, uh, what did the Bible say? Well, it said uh, 
to go forth and multiply. Now this is, this is not what I wanted to look at. This here says, go forth and multiply. This is from Genesis chapter 1, verse 28. And God blessed them, and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth and subdue it and have dominion over the fish of the sea and over the birds of the heavens and over every living thing that moves on the earth. This is what God says. This is basically a command uh, by God to say, go out, uh, multiply, have lots of kids. And he has never rescinded this. This, uh, this command has never went away. Uh, and we are encouraged to have lots of kids. So, not only is the atmosphere uh, more conducive um, to longer lifespans, um, but, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, it's more conducive, but they're also having uh, more babies because they can, because they live up to 800, 900 years old, right? And uh, so there's more, there's also a sustained population, whereas you would have people die off after 70, 80 years now. These people are living to 800 years and their kids are having multiple generations of kids as well. So you would have uh, an even more rapid exponential population growth. So uh, an 8 billion, 9 billion sort of population pre-flood is actually very possible. And this chart is actually... Uh, kind of under um, under recording, I think, under suggesting what uh, indeed could have been the population of the earth at that time. It's very realistic that the population, given the long lifespans, given the commandment uh, to uh, be uh, multiply, and given that the earth was uh, you know a much healthier place to be and people were living longer then, obviously by uh, through the the genealogies uh, in the Old Testament. Um, it's very possible that they were around uh, the same numbers that we are at now. Now, let's go to... Uh, this is uh, Wikipedia. Human overpopulation. This is what people think, that the world is overpopulated. I don't think so. I don't, I don't even think we're uh, near... Uh, well, we may be near uh, what it was pre-flood, but um, I don't think we're past that by a huge amount. And I suggest, uh, and the Jews believe pattern equals prophecy. So would it be interesting that um, the Lord's wrath would fall when the, a similar population uh, amount occurred? And that could be, you know, the God's number for um, how many people the earth can sustain. Maybe that, that's uh, somewhere close to his timeline as well in terms of the number of people um, uh, that, that this earth is made for. And, and that's again, sets out the timeline for his return, maybe, part of it. Um, it says, since 1804, the living, the global living human population has increased from 1 billion to 8 billion. So that's in 200 years. That's 200 years ago, right? 1800 to 1900, 1900 um, to the year 2000. Uh, it's uh, increased from 1 billion to 8 billion, just 200 years. Uh, and... Again, the population doubles about 150 years uh, on average, and that's conservative. Um, um, so that's not a, a far out sort of number. According to the most recent United Nations projections, the global human population is expected to reach 9.7 billion in 2050 and would peak around 10.4 billion in the 2080s. I don't see why, because if you look at every human population chart, uh, it's exponential. I don't even think they have it here. Um, look at these numbers here. 1 billion in 1806. In 1960, that's about 150 years. It's actually tripled, right? Tripled, uh, not just doubled. You go from 1960 to the year 2000, it's doubled. That's 40 years. In 40 years, it's doubled, not 150 years. So this is an exponential growth. And now we're in 2020 and we're, uh, you know, about uh, 8 billion people. Uh, in 2024. Um, and now the question is, if the population of the Earth is uh, doubling every 40 years, uh, you know, if this is the case, there was a, a massive uh, uh, boom in there, um, could we go from, you know, uh, eight times the population growth as it was uh, in 1804 um, to uh, today, to 8 billion? If the population growth grew eight times um, so eight times eight, is that 64? If there was 64 billion people on the earth, do you think that's going to happen? I don't know if that's going to happen. And I, I would suggest that, um, that's beyond, uh, a limit. Um, 
maybe that God is working with. And again, I would suggest to you that pattern equals prophecy. And if there was, um, you know, 8 billion or some similar number pre-flood, you know, there's a lot of speculation and conjecture here. But it could mean um, that there's a soft time limit, not only only of those saved, but also that uh, of the population of the earth uh, that can be sustained um, uh, prior to God's wrath coming upon the earth and him kind of saying, okay, time's up. Um, now we're going to move on to the next stage. Um, and that would be obviously eternity. So it's an interesting uh, idea. And again, it would suggest that we didn't have another 150 years. It would suggest even that we don't have another 40 years uh, if if this continues to double like this uh, chart seems to uh, indicate it is. Um, now, some believe that, you know, pandemics will wipe people out. Um, I don't know if, you know, none of the past pandemics have really uh, significantly dented uh, the Earth's population. They happen in pockets in some places, but they don't happen all over. Even with COVID, um, there weren't that many on a global scale. There wasn't, there wasn't 8 billion that died from that, that's for sure. And there's 8 billion people on the planet. So it's not going to be a, it's not significantly going to bring down the earth population um, by any stretch. So again, you look at that and there seems to be kind of a, a shelf life to that, kind of an end zone sort of a timeline where, uh, you know, we're not going to go beyond that. There's, there's not another 40 years, I don't think. I, we're not going to double um, you know, from uh, 8 billion to 16 billion. And they even have projections which, uh, for, for some reason, don't actually double according to the exponential uh, population graph um, that has occurred since, you know, the 1700s, the 1600s, up until now. They, they assume all of a sudden it's going to level off. Well, why? Why do they assume it's going to level off? It's interesting. Um, you know, why, why aren't they following the ex exponential growth of humans? Maybe it's because they believe that um, they're teaching everybody not to have uh, babies, and so they think uh, we're all going to stop at some point. Certainly that's what they want. They want to decrease population. They don't think the earth can sustain this many, um, but it can, and it will as long as the earth is here. That's what the Bible says. And so again, you look at the timeline of the return of the Lord, and I would suggest to you, um, that we are not, uh, like I say, even 40 years out from the return of the Lord. Certainly not 200 or 300 years or 1,000 years. The population uh, would be uh, way outside of any bounds that seems to me are reasonable um, according to history and uh, according to the timeline. And I think we're at the are in or around the year 6,000. I think uh, the, the clock is up. We're in the last couple seconds of eternity. Uh, of this time on earth, not eternity, but this time on earth, this um, time where we're, uh, God is giving us a chance to follow him, to look for and follow him. And so, interesting. We could be uh, very much so, uh, you know, less than 40 years, and I think it's a lot, a lot closer than that. But this is just one metric to say, you know what? Um, I don't think we have a lot more time here. I, I don't think we have a lot more uh, uh, space, you know, we could have, we could handle a couple more billion people, that's for sure. But I don't know if we could handle a doubling or um, an, an an eight multiplier, an eight timesing of the a population of the Earth. That would seem to me uh, to be out of bounds. Uh, so I'll leave it there, guys. Let me know what you think. I I, I find these uh, ideas interesting, and uh, and this was just kind of a new one that that came to mind. Just one more indicator, one more milestone, one more um, a piece of evidence which suggests that we are in the last of the last days. And uh, the return of the Lord is very near. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video.